Hi everybody, it's Isabel here from Cowden Beef Library and today we're not baking, we are doing Baby Shark. Baby Shark, do 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 Baby Shark, do 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 Baby Shark, do 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 Baby Shark. So this is what I'm going to teach you to make today. Okay, it's very simple, apart from the teeth take a wee bit of cutting. But other than that, it's quite a simple thing to do. So let's get started. Now, what you need is a piece of card, 19 centimetres by 19 centimetres. It can be bigger as long as it's, a, or smaller even, uh, as long as it's a square. So it could be something like 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. Obviously, the smaller you're working with, the more difficult, uh, difficult it is to do. So make it a bit larger if you've got the card to do that. So I'm going to cut 19 by 19 here. And I'm not going to do it with a pair of scissors. I'm really lazy. I've got a wee trimmer here. So I'm just going to do it with my wee trimmer. And it goes like that. And that's it done, hopefully. Then the next one. And about there. Slide that down and that's it done. Okay, so this is hopefully about 19 centimetres by 19 centimetres. Okay, so the first thing you do is you fold it in half, but you fold it on the triangle, you don't fold it so that you're left with a triangle shape. Okay, just like that. And then we take this corner and we fold it into the middle. Like so. Okay, so it kind of looks like half a kite so far, doesn't it? And this corner then, we fold into the middle as well. So now, it does look like a kite. Hmm? Right, so what we're going to do then is put these two pieces together, like so. Okay, and we're going to cut here. We don't start cutting all the way here, because that's up at the top. We cut halfway, well, about a third of the way down, and we start putting cuts in it, okay? Like so. Nice straight ones. And don't make them too small, but don't make them too big. The, more, the smaller they are, the more flexible your fish is. And when you're cutting, I want you to cut right up to this line across here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Can you see that line? Don't go any further than that line, because if you go any further than line, this is actually the shark's tummy. And you're cutting into the shark's tummy, so cut all the way up to the shark's tummy, just like that. Okay, and carry on all the way along till you get to the edge of the tail. Now I've done one earlier, just to make it a bit easier for us. And here it is. Can you see all the cuts in it? And you see how they move? Well, this is our shark. Now, if I put it together, what I'm going to do is fold this part back in, just like we were making our kite again, and I'm going to glue it. Here we go. Now, you could either use PVA for this. I'm just using a press stick, but it doesn't matter what you use. Okay. You only need to glue one side. Fold it over and push it in there. Squeeze it together hard. Now it looks slightly like a shark so far, but there's lots of other bits to go on, isn't there? What we need is a fin up here, some fins down here and a tail. Oh, and some eyes, a mouth and some teeth. So we're still a long way to go yet. But this is how it looks so far. Can you see the movement you have on it? There's one stuck together there. There we go. So the first thing we're going to do is put some eyes on it. Now all you need for that is two circles in white and then two circles in black. The two circles in black need to be smaller than the two circles in white. Now I've got different sized eyes here. Now we could have wee tiny eyes, like this one, can you see it? Or we could have big eyes like this one. 
I think to make them scarier looking, we're going to have the really big eyes. So I need two really big eyes. Pop these back over there. Now, these have got the wee bits that mid move so that when the fish is moving, the wee bit in the middle moves. So again, some glue. Oops. And stick it on. Okay. And again, some glue. And stick it on. Now, when you're sticking this one on, if you try and get it in the same place as the other one, I'll just stick this on and then I'll let you see what I mean. So there's your two eyes on, okay? That's it. Two eyes. Now, what we need to do is put a fin on the front. Now, when we're putting a fin on the top, this is a wee off cut from that sheet of paper that we had, it needs to have a curve on it. So when you're drawing it, it needs to be curved shape, okay? Just like this. I've cut one here, right? okay? This is your curved shape that you need to cut. Now, where this is going to go is just behind the eyes and here, okay? So we're going to stick this down, a wee bit of glue right along the bottom. Push our fish together. And stick the fin on. Okay. And that's your fin on. Now, we need two fins for here and a tail for here. Now, oh, here's our tail here. No, that's not our tail. I don't know where our tail's gone, so I'll have to draw one. What we want to do, something this shape. And it's got to come in towards the middle. Okay. Just so that it fits in there. Obviously it'll be turned over. So we'll cut this out and see how it looks. It doesn't need to be exact. I mean, it's, it's your shark, so you can make it how you want it to be. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue this here, right in the middle, and stick it on its bottom, right here. Give it a good push down. I have to keep it on there now because it's still wet. Okay, so that's your tail on. So now we need two fins on the side here and here. Now. What I've drawn, can you see? What I'm going to do is going to fold the card in half so I don't have to draw it twice. And that way, if I fold it in half and then cut it once, the benefit is they both end up the same size, okay? So I'll just cut here. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to take these fins and just glue them on at an angle. We don't glue them on straight on like that. We actually want to glue them on at an angle. So they're more like that. Okay? So that's what we're going to do now then. We're going to put a bit of glue on here. Oh, his tail's just fallen off. And a bit glue on here, and you stick your fins on. Okay, and the same with this one. Oh, don't forget to turn it around if you're using card like me, or you'll end up with the. And again, his tail back on. Don't stick it upside down like I just about did. And there we go. There we have our baby shark. Oh, forgot his mouth. 
We need to draw his mouth and his teeth. So what we need now is a triangle piece to fit inside his bottom, the bottom of his mouth here to make it into a jaw. Let's try this. That fits just about. That'll do. Now, what we'll do is we'll, we'll not stick this in just now, and I'll show you why in a wee minute. Okay? Now, what you need to make is his teeth, or are his teeth. Now, I'm taking two pieces of card. Okay? Now, this piece of card I'm going to fold. A wee bit over at the bottom. Not a big bit. Not even half of it over at the bottom. We'll try and do that all the way up. Can you see what I'm doing there? Now, why I'm doing that is because this bit that I've folded over is actually the bit that will get stuck to the shark. Okay. And the same with this piece. Again. Another fold over. That's it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut some teeth out of this. And how we do that is it's just lots of little triangles cut out. Now the second one should just pop out. Okay? All the way up. Can you see what I'm doing? There we go. Oh, stuck. Make sure you cut right to the edge of that fold. Okay, so that's, that's us cut one set of teeth. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick these inside the fish. So to do that is I get some glue here and I put this along the folded part right here. Glue it right along. Now we'll start at the front. Not sure how long we'll need this. Pick up our fish. Like so. And we actually stick that wee lip under there. There we go. I'm going to cut that first tooth off because it's all shaped at a different shape. So it looks more like a, that's better. And then I'll cut it there. And stick that in. So he's now got one set of teeth. So we need to fix the other side and then do the bottom. Okay. Hello there, I finished cutting the teeth and I stuck them to, stuck them to the lower jaw before I actually put, I'm going to put the jaw in because it's much easier to stick them here than trying to get into his mouth. So I've stuck them on, this is them finished, okay. So what I want to do is put a wee bit of glue along here to stick this lower jaw to the actual shark. There we go, in here. And we just stick it on like this. Make sure it's really well stuck. And then I've cut a piece of red card as well. And what I'm going to do with this is just pop it in on top of the teeth there to make it look like a tongue. Okay, so I'll just do that. Put some glue on it. And there we go, there's baby shark finished. Baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark. 
And then I've got a big full one. So that's mommy shark, did it, did it, did it, did mommy shark, did it, did it, mommy shark, did it, did it, mommy shark. So that's our sharks for today. Okay, and an even bigger one, daddy shark too. Okay, thank you. Join us again for another day, another day craft.